So I'm going to make a video on cloak warping. I don't know that it has a formal name. I'm sure in the forum somewhere someone calls it something fancy. Um, it's a combination of a couple of things. First of all, haulers are big and slow. Generally they align in like 12 to 15 seconds, something obnoxious like that. Um, you see the micro warp drive that I have here, which is just a 50mn micro warp drive, a Tech 1. If I pull the information up on it, what you're going to find is the duration activation time here is 10 seconds. Okay. Whereas the ship, which is a bustard, its alignment time is 18 seconds. So from this gate that I'm at right now, it should take me 18 seconds to align and go to another gate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp to Eandor here. I'm just going to warp to it, but when I warp, I'm going to hit my micro warp drive and then I'll immediately turn it back off. And in the 10 seconds that it takes for that to align, watch what happens to the speed here. Immediately jumps up, I'm instantly in warp. So obviously it doesn't take my buster at 18.75 whatever seconds to get into warp because of how I use the micro warp drive. 10 seconds is better than 18. 10 seconds isn't very long. But let's jump through this gate, because there's one other thing that's a little bit more complicated that you can do with this piece of information. So let's say I just jumped into LOSAC. Oh no, I'm in LOSAC. I screwed up. I'm probably going to die. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a combination of my cloak and my work micro warp drive to not only align in 10 seconds and warp away, but to be cloaked while I do that, so that I cannot be locked during that period of time. How does that work? So we're going to select the gate that we want to warp to, and then we're going to align to the gate, hit our cloak, then turn our micro warp drive on and off. Once it hits a quarter se quarter cycle, we're going to turn the cloak off, and then we're going to hit warp. <laughs> All right, here we go. I align, I cloak, I turn the micro warp drive on. I turn it off. So the micro warp drive is now completely counteracting the the alignment speed requirement. And I turn the cloak off and I hit warp. As I decloak, I warp away. Ta ta ta. Which means that if there were people sitting on the gate trying to lock me, or the wormhole for example, trying to lock me, they didn't get a chance to do so because I was you know, cloaked up the entire time. Okay? So we're going to sit here idle for a second, which would be the same effect, right? Let's just go through it one more time. Let's go back to Antelari. So I'm going to align, cloak. Oh, I'm too close to the thingy. My bad. I do want to show you again, though. So here, I'll just jump through. When you pop through a gate or when you pop to a wormhole, you pop more than 2,000 meters out, and that's why you can always cloak right away. Oh, and our ganker friends are over here today. <laughs> Gives me something to do. Alright, so let's go... Let's go back to Angimon. So again, so the trick is to align to, and then immediately cloak. And then turn the micro warp drive on. And then turn it off. So it's going to go through that cycle. So at this point, all I have to do is wait till about a quarter of the way done turn the cloak off and start spamming the, the warp button and as you can see as I'm uncloaking I warp away so there's like a quarter to a half second window that they have to lock you up um that is possible you know people have boosted hyenas and you know stuff like that that's set up specifically to catch this trick but your rank and file ganker and gay camper is not going to be able to snatch you on this um, it's just a secure way to move around. Even when you're just moving from Paco to Paco to be able to align quickly by using a micro warp drive versus just using the ship's natural alignment is going to save your ship. Okay. So practice that and that'll help you be a better, you know, more efficient um, Holler pilot. Okay. Happy Fourth of July.
don't die.